Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Vigoma Q4 of the Bi Weekly Contest 85 Maximum Segment Sum After Removals. So, this one, um, hope you hit the like button and subscribe button, and I don't know, something about removals uh, on Discord. Um, yeah, so this one for me is just bookkeeping um, and having clever data structure. I think the, the canonical way of doing it, meaning if you don't have libraries or whatever, is going to be using. Um, trees, right? So basically, you query for the node, um, for for you know a range, some sort of range tree or something like that, and then you kind of just split them up um, as you go. Um, and if you keep it balanced and clean, it should be everything should be log in and so forth. Um, the way that I did it is with a data structure in Python uh, called sorted list, and we'll just go over the implementation because I think here the way that I did it is with bookkeeping. Um, I was a little bit slow, but I think I. You know, I was just trying to be very careful to not make silly mistakes. I've been making a lot of silly mistakes lately. Um, yeah, first of all, I did the prefix sum. So this allows us, I'm not going to go over it that deeply because there are a lot of prefix sum problems. I have a lot of prefix sum videos. And also, you know, I just want to focus on the hard part of this. And prefix sum is, of course, at least the way that I did it is a prerequisite. Maybe it's not necessary. I don't know. Maybe there are other ways to do it. You could use... Um, I don't know, segment tree or something like this. Uh, probably an overkill, but in, in theory you can. Um, but yeah, the prefix sum is just so that we can allow um, the, the sum between two segments, right? Uh, or two endpoints, sorry, for a segment. Um, within, you know, so so any any sub array, we can get this, the sum in all one time. So that's basically what this prefix sum is. For me, I use this um, data structure in Python that's roughly log n data structure sorted, uh, sorted list. You can read up more about the sorted list by just Googling. Uh, I'm not going to give a link off my head, but if you Google Python sorted list, you should be able to read the documentation and the code as you like. Um, but yeah, and roughly speaking, it's going to be all of log n operation. There's some nuance there. I'm not going to go into it. But yeah. But basically, I have two lists. One is for SL. Um, we'll go over that in a little bit. But sums is just, um, you can almost even think about it as a heap that basically takes, you know, just keep track of all the elements, all the component sums, and then so that we could get the max very quickly, right? That's basically the idea. Uh, first, we begin with, so SL is a sort of list that, that we have here that basically contains three things, left, right and then the total um, and that's basically the idea is that from this stuff alone we're able to do a binary search to find our um, yeah to find things and that's basically the idea um, this is inclusive the way that I wrote it but yeah um, I do struggle I'm not gonna lie I do struggle a bit sometimes with the way that these things are structured with all five ones I was trying to be very careful here um, but that's pretty much all, all, all the setup here uh, that I am doing. I can immediately go into the queries. And then first, I do a binary search. And this really funky looking thing, this one, is basically tries to get at... Um, tries to get at the segment in which it contains Q. Um, and we do this by binary search, by searching for the next number and then going back. It's a little bit awkward, you, but you can work out the the cases so that you know you can convince yourself that there's no off by one. Um, that's basically what I spend a lot of time on for this one because I, I, I'm really bad at this and that's just me and you can watch me you know, do this part live later. Um, I also made a kind of a minor um, improvement in adding the right component so that I think this is a trick that I picked up on another problem. Um, instead of trying to be too clever and too space efficient and too state efficient, if you will. Um, it, it just allows me to do other parts of this in a much easier way. But yeah, but basically, I, you know, this gives me the, the, the left, right, and the total. Basically, this is the left index, the right index, and the total. So we start with 0 and then minus 1 and just the sum of everything. And then here, okay. You know, now that we have this, we know that we have to split it into, well, we don't, we, we basically, uh, the way that I do the splitting is by removing it and then put 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 back into the, the components, right? So one observation that I haven't talked about yet, 
but it is important here is that you begin with one segment and and when you uh, when you make a query, every time you make a query, you can at most create two segments, right? Because you're splitting it from the left side and the right side. Sometimes if you remove the leftmost element, it will still be one segment and so forth. And sometimes there'll be no segment if you it, you know if your segment is only one element, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, and then we remove the total from the sum, which is the thing that we have um, from the second thing. And then here, this is the left component. If there is a left component that contains at least one element, that's basically what this if statement does, then we, yeah, we add it back in with, as a segment, and then we add the, the, the total of that segment. And then we also add it to the sums. We do the same thing for the right side, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, at most, we do one query and removal uh, for, for you know the the things, and then we do at, at, at most two um, two additions from the left and the right for SL and sums, and then at at the end of every iteration, we find the biggest sum by, you know, because we keep kept track in the sums, we just we uh, return the bigger biggest element and put in the answer, and of course, if there's no uh, this should only happen once, but if there's no more element, we return zero. Um, yeah, and this is gonna be n log n. Oh, sorry. Um, hmm, what is the up? I guess this is Q log n, though Q is link always going to be n, right? So I think that should be. Oh, I guess technically it's. Oh no no no. Um, oh yeah yeah yeah. So this is always going to be n. So, um, so yeah. So this is this. So the algorithm, the way that I wrote it, would work even if Q is not n, but. Since this is n, um, so I'm just going to write it in terms of q anyway. So it'll be q queries times log n because we remove, um, yeah, we uh, is time and space. This is just going to be o of n space, both for the sorted lists and the, the prefix sum. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think. Can you see the entire thing? Okay, maybe this. See, shows the entire code but yeah but that's pretty much all i have so it's just a lot of bookkeeping and tracking and you know yeah uh whew. uh anyway that's it uh you could watch me solve it live during the contest now oh jeez oh people are already done yeah okay uh, you can I've query the element is we were splitting n numbers into different segments. Okay. <coughs> That was just silly, but okay. Uh, let's see. So we have to sum, and then when we remove, so let's say we have the total, and then we removed. Hmm. People are already done. That's people are really good. So we have to have the total. I mean, it's a. I think it's just bookkeeping, but for X. Separated from left to right. How do you keep track of it? Hmm.
ce soir. I'm gonna go use a heap here, but that's fine. I think that's right. Let's see. 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 This number we split it up. Mm. <sighs> yeah, okay. Can't this be oh, this should be right? Mm. So then now we split it up to the left and the right. Mm. equal to to code mm -hmm. maybe I just put, put it here instead just to keep it a little bit easier Okay, and now the new left is equal to left um, Q minus 1. Okay, so then I have to get the, the prefix sum, maybe, I guess. Oops. Say the new left is equal to this, and then the prefix sum of um, Q. So the numbers are minus one, minus one. Checking the API. This
something like some start move talk. There's no signal between the two that I for. Okay, this is very wrong, but that does like an acoustic, right? Hmm, that's weird. Uh, from SL, sounds. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, one to four to fifteen. Okay, that looks good. Well, not really, but now one to four. That's eleven thirty four is fifteen. Oh right. my prefix sum is all five one. Um Because it goes from cube minus one, let's add one. Hmm, well, that's not good. I messed this up, it should be right, so it should be right plus one. Be inclusive, so it should be Q. Okay, maybe this one's right. Let's see, well, it matches the answer, so let's YOLO it. Uh, is that right? Oh, yeah, 16 5 Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know how you did this contest for this problem and whatever you need to do uh stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye